Hey guys, it's Zon the Cage, and welcome back to some more disturbing. So, where we left off, we went into the pen, picked the mushrooms, and we died. So, back into the pen. A toxic fume burns your nose as you enter the pen. The poor cow lays lifeless on the ground as a growing blight slowly begins to consume her body. You feel sick to your stomach as you stand here, especially as you stare at the black mushrooms that dot the ground. Now we'll inspect the water before we leave. You inspect the water, looking for anything abnormal. You notice that the water has a dark consistency to it. Dropping a stone into it, a black particles from the bottom swirl about like a thunderstorm. Your face shrivels in disgust. Alright, leave the pen. Follow the path. You continue down the trail for a while until you see a cave off in the distance. You pause, questioning if there could be something helpful in there. Go into the cave. There's a faint whistle from the wind passing between the rocks. The temperature significantly cools as you enter the cave. You notice that there's a different smell, but you welcome it, comparing it to the deathly blight found outside. Go further into the cave. Oh dear, I have made a terrible mistake. Well, can, okay, where's the... Okay, well, oh, well, we can't go back. Well, before you take your next step, a large bear emerges from the darkness. You realize that you have made a terrible mistake. Yes, yes, I have. Thinking that something helpful can be in here. Fight the bear or run away. Run away. The moment you turn to run, the bear roars with a deep growl, shaking the loose stones about the cave. All you can think about is making it back home in one piece. Well, you make it to the trail. Then the bear catches up with you, tackling you to the ground. You scream in pain as the bear rips you apart. Well, you're not getting home in one piece, but you'll be there in pieces. <laughs> right? I mean, someone's going to find you and, well, actually, maybe not. Never mind, you're not getting home in one piece, or pieces, you're just bare pieces. Okay. Your adventure ends here. Okay, we're gonna go back, back. Um, okay. So running away is death. Fight the bear? <laughs> you scan the ground and notice that there are numerous rocks you can grab to throw at the bear. You begin to do so as the bear approaches you. One after the other, you throw the rocks as hard as you can. The bear charges at you as you bend over to grab another rock, tackling you to the ground. The bear bites into your neck. Your body quickly goes limp and you die. Wow. Okay. Your adventure ends here. Alright. Another dull day. For some time and yep. Okay, we know all this. So we're going to quickly go through this. We're going to go to the crops. We're going to follow the path. And this time we are not going to go into the cave. You come to a stop as you stumble upon a broken wagon. Inspect the wagon. You look about the mess and find bits of food and clothes scattered about the scene. You notice a key on the ground during your search. You pick up the key and continue on your way. After what felt like an hour or two, you reach a bridge. Nearby the path is a small shack similar to the house you have on the farm. The man that lives here is a kind fellow from what you recall. Maybe he is home. Inspect the shack. You walk toward the structure and knock on the door. You scratch the back of your head figuring that the person that lives here is currently occupied if not elsewhere. You remember picking up a key from the wagon and you use it on the door. The door unlocked. You decide to help yourself in. Why? Okay. Well, apparently no manners here. Just waltz right in. Yep, that's the way this works. Observing the empty room, you realize something terrible must have taken place here. The room is a wreck, just like the wagon. You are overcome with fear as you think of the man that used to dwell here. Can't hold on, guys. Uh... Okay. Ooh, there we go. Sorry, guys. Uh, you're overcome with fear as you think of the man that used to dwell here. Inspect the book on the table. You pick up the book and start to flip through the pages. 
and discover that it this is a journal. Reading a past or two can't hurt. Today is trading once moody, thank goodness. What I am thrilled most about, however, is what one of my buddies mentioned to me at the conclusion of our day. Apparently there is a pond nearby that has some of the biggest fish in the region region. With a good catch I can make enough to move things forward. I was caught off guard when he mentioned that nobody has been able to catch any from there. I guess your typical fishing rod won't do the trick, but what can be done about it then? Something to be intrigued about, I suppose. These past couple of weeks have been really rough for me. My trading business has gone under and I have lost nearly everything I own. This has pushed me to extremes, but that can't be helped now. I'm leaving this place forever, never to return. The land is dying and there is nothing but darkness here. Anyone reading this should leave while they can. I can't find a name to give this man, but regardless of the name, you got chills running down your spine. Open the trap door. I mean, you let yourself in, you might as well inspect the trap door. <laughs> you observe the trap door and notice a lock keeping it closed. With the key, you unlock the hatch and get it open. Without thinking, you travel downward. There's a person, or a body, one of the two. Walking down the steps leading below, the air attacks your body with a piercing cold. You notice immediately that there is a woman chained to the wall. She doesn't seem to notice you as you study her. You feel darkness surround you as you stay in this awful place. Talk to the woman. You tremble as you try to form words in your mouth. Woman. You there. Let me out of here. The pressure of such a demand makes you freeze. You take a moment to think about the situation before you respond. You, or me, what got you locked up to begin with? You'll never believe me, even if I told you the truth. Something brought you here. Please have mercy on me. Free the woman? You approach the woman and lock the shackles that bind her. As her arms become free, she moans in pain. Oh, thank you so much. Oh, okay. The woman struggles to regain her strength, but starts to stand up on her own. As she gets up, she turns towards you. I will now do you a favor. Okay. <laughs> what? What? Why? What seems to be the face of a helpless woman disappears as horrible image manifests itself before you. Yes, I can see this. Oh, dear. You feel the chilling grip of bone hands lock onto your arms. Oh dear. Energy flees from your body and you fall to your knees. You feel the essence of your life slip away as everything goes black. Well! That ended. That. Alrighty then. It is unfortunate that your journey ends here. I was trying to be nice. I was trying to help a lady in distress who got locked up in the basement by a creepo. And yet she turned out to be the creepo that was made of bones and sucked the life literally right out of me. <sighs> I was trying to be nice. I'm disturbed. Yes, you got the title correct. I am very disturbed. Okay then. Huh. So we died. That happened. We died from a bear and then, you know, we try we tried to be nice and we tried to help a lady that was shackled up and instead she turned into a set of bones and drained life straight out of us. Yeah. Alrighty, that's that sums this up. Yeah. Alrighty, guys. Well, if you did enjoy this uh, very twisted episode, be sure to leave those likes, subscribes, and comments, guys. And I will see you all later.